Come on, Jake. What's up, dude? Old Toad, Aaron. What's up, dude? Four forty-six pack. J Pops, Tom, Les. What is up, Sean? Doug. What's up, brother? Mike. You guys are rolling today. Big Fish Bassin, Greg, Jake. Appreciate it, Buck Buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. J Beats, Morrison Outdoors, Joe Bruno. We tried the jackhammer, man. That's what we're talking about, the jackhammer. Tried it for three days. We'll talk about it. Emmanuel, what's up? Paul, Chuck. Go on, Chuck. 43 people on. Hit the thumbs up, please. That'd be awesome. Fifth like, appreciate it. Lisa, what's going on? How you doing from Arizona? Tyler, uh, kind of what I'm thinking, dude. It's a tough bite right now. Yeah, I didn't do too bad. I was out a few days last week. I actually did pretty decent. You guys will see a few videos here coming soon. Ramsey, appreciate it, bud. But yeah, we did try the jackhammer for three days. I'll let some more people get on here, and then we'll talk about it, because I want your guys' opinion as well on the old jackhammer. What time do you think you are going to go to? As long as you guys are on here talking, you know, we've been on here a couple hours before, so I don't have anything scheduled that I have to do or whatever. So if you guys are chatting with me and asking questions or all just talking on here, sky's the limit, man. Thanks, Paul, top raider. Sean, what's going on, Tackle Junkie? What's going on, buddy? How you doing, man? Angelo. Blades, jigs all day. A blade of jigs all day for sure. William, what's up? Too expensive for a high schooler such as myself. I hear that, dude. Howdy, brother. Doug, appreciate it, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. Appreciate the five bucks, buddy. Hit the thumbs up. First thing, you the man, dude. We do have 50 people on here. We can go over the giveaway really fast. Tickle Sprinker Frog in the pad was good for me the other day. Never liked the jackhammer. Jake, for me, uh, I did best on the spinnerbait the other day. The old advantage spinnerbait. Got her done. Lots of pretty cool videos coming for, coming soon for you guys. I already have, uh, I think, five lined up. So, Lisa, I've never fished any lakes in Arizona. I really haven't fished anything outside uh, Illinois and Missouri. I've only fished a handful of lakes. Real fast, though. If you guys already donated, I really do appreciate that. For the giveaway, guys, we do have a handful of assorted hooks here. A majority of them are must add. Are you guys ready for this? And a battle box. Brand new battle box. And those hooks. That is a giveaway for the super chat. Guys, tonight, if you guys do donate, you guys are entered in the giveaway. So some hooks from must add. And the Calco's Fishing Battle Box. You guys really seem to dig that video on how I loaded it up. So, you know what? I had an extra one, so I figured I'd give it away to you guys. Let's see here. Got a limit cranking and fluking today. Awesome, Greg. Jack Hammer, too expensive to lose around 20 bucks. My Z Man works very well for a quarter of the cost. I tell you what, 446 pack. Um, yeah, 20 bucks is definitely too high for those. Um, most places have them for 16. But you can go to Carl's and get them for like 12 or 13 bucks. So if you guys haven't shopped at Carl's, there'll be a link down in the description. Definitely head over there, check them out. They got, when they first started carrying them, they only had like two or three colors. Now they got like eight or 10 colors. So definitely head over there, save a few bucks if you are interested in the jackhammers. Also, the Biospawn Exo Ribbon is now available. I'm not sure they're on the Biospawn site yet, but they are on Carl's. If you're a member, they're like $4.19 a pack. Free 30-day trial. Again, link down in the description. Best advice for fishing super clear water with lots of grass. Uh, Dave, I don't really have any experience at all with, with real clear water. I'd imagine you need to be as natural as possible. Um, 
Yeah, but I really, I really can't tell you on that. I'm sure there's a bunch of guys on here that fish clear water. I just don't really have the best advice for that as I don't fish it. I would think like it's as natural as possible. Lots of grass. If it's submerged grass, you guys heard me talk about the Mojo rig. That's a great little rig above the grass. So, so you use a light enough weight to want to dig into the grass. But again, really, I don't really have much advice at all on clear water. You guys see my fishing videos. I fish literally mud holes. Aaron, I do appreciate 20 bucks, brother. You're into the giveaway. That's awesome, dude. You are the man. I really do appreciate that, buddy. Uh, can you talk about the new gear you know, heard about? Um, what gear are we talking about, dude? I really don't know of anything really new that you guys wouldn't know about. There is, there is a new Chatterbait coming out from a console. You guys may have seen that on my Instagram or my Facebook. That should be out, I believe, in October. Let's get into the, the jackhammer real fast. Do we have anybody on here that has been fishing the jackhammer? What rod would you recommend for frog rod? I have a Revo X for real. I use the Akuma TCS. It's actually labeled jig worm rod. It's a heavy power with a mod fast action. I do like that softer tip to it, but get any brand that you'd like. But I and I prefer a heavy power with a softer action to it. Oh, good evening from Branson. You suck, dude. I wish I was in Branson right now, man. How you doing, brother? Jackhammer price too much for me. Can you take all your rods and reels to work with you Tuesday and drop them off at my truck? <laughs> no, I don't believe I can do that, buddy. Sorry, man. You better get that truck washed on, man. It looks pretty dirty. Old toe jackhammer is legit. Give it a chance. Okay, I did try it for three days. I did not catch any fish on it. Okay, but I don't need to catch fish on it to know it's a good bait. Obviously, it's a good bait. A ton of guys or catching fish on the chatterbait. I caught them on uh, square bills, obviously, spinner baits the last few days. Again, what you guys will see, three or four videos coming soon from those trips out. But again, I've had these jackhammers for a while now. And through the first time, like I said, last week or so, through them, like I said, three full days. And I didn't get the vibration that I expected out of it. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm already using chatterbaits that already have a lot of vibration. I'm not sure if you guys have used the um, the shock blades or the tungsten knockers from Picasso. Okay. I didn't think those had a ton of vibration. They have a lot, but I didn't think they thumped super hard. So when I first started tossing the jackhammer, I figured it was going to out thump those by far. And this was my experience with it so far. You know, it doesn't hit any harder than any other chatterbaits that I've used. I mean, to me, it hits just as hard as a standard chatterbait for five bucks. The Elites, the Project Zs, as far as vibration and thump goes, I didn't see, like I said, anything really different with it. Obviously, it's built much better, better hook, keepers and all that. And I know Gina put a video out uh, the other day what makes this bait better because the blade bangs against the head. I mean, to me, that's a, I don't know, I mean, pretty much every chatterbait these days the blade bangs against the head. So I didn't really get that particular video. But uh, I think what is, what's supposed to make this bait different is the bend on this blade, okay? So you have more flat portion, I guess, in the water, hitting the water. So you're supposed to get more thump out of it. Again, I should not experience that um, compared to the other ones that I use. I tried different trailers. You can see I cut the skirt pretty short. I had the um, axle swim on there. I had uh, the Zacco on there. I settled on the plasma tail because I knew I wouldn't get any resistance from this trailer. Now, the one thing I noticed with this chatterbait, now this could be maybe the deal breaker or the difference between this one and other ones that I used. It's either this is the reason or it's very speed sensitive. But I noticed, and let me say something else, I'm using 3 8 ounce. Okay, it's really the main size that I use. But what I did notice is, and I was, I was really at a steady pace, not too slow, not too fast. It seems like it did hunt. There's so many companies that claim their crankbaits hunt, their chatterbaits hunt, whatever it may be. This is one of the first baits that I've ever come across that I can reel and actually watch it kick out. Again, if it's speed sensitive, that can do that as well. It did ride fat. It does rise fast. I will say the Picasso stay down much um, easier than the jackhammers do. But that is the one thing that I did notice. You know, deflection is the key to getting bit really with anything, whether it be a crankbait, banging your spinnerbait off, tree limbs or whatever. Deflection is what causes fish to react. 
So if that is built into this bait, I would say that's very slick, without a doubt, very slick. But maybe it's just speed sensitive. I need to talk to some guys that really have a lot of time with this bait because again, it did kick out a lot, which is great if that's what it's meant to do. Or if it's speed sensitive, then it means I need to slow it down a lot. So, but I don't really think I was burning it. So it is a cool feature if it's meant to do that. If not, then I'm not really sure what's so special about it. Just because, like I said, the $5 chatterbait thumps just as hard as this one, in my opinion. And guys, I'm not knocking it at all. I'm sure it's going to catch fish. Okay. You guys know I'm partnering up with Picasso. I love the Picasso stuff, but I also use a bunch of other things. So I'm never partial to one brand. You guys know nothing's exclusive. I use what I want to use. I say what's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just, maybe you guys haven't used some other chatterbait that I've used that is thumped this hard or as hard as this one. So if Ray is in here, I'll get to the comments in a second. I know he's used the Picassos a lot and I know he's used these a lot. I'd like to get his feedback on it. But again, I was just expecting to um, get a real hard thump out of it. And to me, it's no more than any other ones that I've used. So that's what I want to say about it. As far as, now that's something else I want to say. I'm throwing it on 12 pound test fluorocarbon. I'm using, my setup was a um, 12 pound test fluorocarbon. This is the uh, Tatula SVTW in a 6.3. And I have it on a TCS Martin APC rod, which is a seven foot medium heavy mod fast action. That's my other thought is maybe this rod absorbs some of the thump. So maybe it's thumping harder than I think, but all the other chatterbaits that I use thump just as hard. So I was just expecting more thump out of it. That is truly the difference. I'm not seeing it. If it hunts, if that's the difference, I do see that. So anyways, that's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think. Jacob, what's up, buddy? So how do your family for me? Doug, hate to say I can't justify paying that kind of money for a bladed jig, especially when you have more affordable choices. Greed. Lonnie, what's up? I like the standard chatterbait. Joe, appreciate two bucks, buddy. You are interested in the giveaway. Illinois fishing is rough right now. It is, dude. But uh, one of the lakes that I normally fish, it did it did turn on for a little bit the last few days. Again, which you guys will see those videos really soon. What's going on, Lane? Yep, I live in Illinois. That's so mainly where I fish. What's going on, Chris? I like the Z-Man Project Z. Um, Weedless the best. What's going on, Sean? Appreciate the five bucks, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. I have a normal Plano box. I need that. That's right, guys. For the giveaway, assortment of Plano or Plano, assortment of mustad hooks and the battle box. Brand new, never used of my battle box. You guys seen there was a new one as well in that video. That's this one right here. Never been used. So brand new for you guys. That's the giveaway. If you donate, you guys are interested in that giveaway. Clinton Lake in Illinois. Never fished it. Lisa, I wish I could donate, but disabled veteran, unlimited income, but so glad to see there are those that can't. Uh, Lisa, I just want to say one thing. Um, I never ask for donations. I do have a full-time job. This is not my full-time job here, so I never ask for donations. Um, but like I said, months ago, for whatever reason, you guys started donating. So I thought that was awesome. I just put the money back into the channel, but I, I do like to give back to the ones that are donating. That's why I do a giveaway every time we have a Sunday Night Live. You know, you guys say it like this, if there's a dozen people that donate, your chances are pretty good to win something. Normally I have usually 50, 60 bucks worth of stuff. So if you donate five bucks, you do have a chance of winning something nice. Again, I'm not asking for donations. If you guys choose to do it, that's awesome. If not, no big deal at all. I just appreciate you guys tuning in, liking the videos, sharing the videos. That's really what I want the most. Just help me blow this channel up so maybe one day I can go full time. No problem, Jacob. Big bite bait. Smalley Smasher is my new favorite drop shot bait. Yeah, we got those in our um, MTV boxes, I believe, last month. Never noticed a difference for the Project Z I always use. Start up seeing the same and frequent of bites was no different for me. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that it had a faster startup either, man. Hey, TJ. Lower suggestion for flat bottom lake. No grass or structure with water clarity about two foot. Um, flat bottom. Is it a hard bottom, soft bottom? If it's a soft bottom, like the lakes that I fish are pretty muddy, I don't really fish anything on the bottom. You know, if it's a Texas rig or something like that, I usually hop it a lot. I, I try and stay away from dragging it just because you just make really a cloud of mud down there and they can't see the way it is. So, um, but you do have two foot of clarity. Again, I like to know just how clean the bottom is. But I mean, if you're wanting to uh, drag something on the bottom, 
obviously football jig, a wobble head is probably what I would suggest, you know, putting a rage bug on there, a vile bug, vile cross, something like that. You can swim it along the bottom, drag it along the bottom, something like that's probably what I would suggest. In my opinion, I prefer the Project Z or the Custom Z-Man chatterbaits. Sean, that's kind of what I'm thinking, man. I just don't see, I mean, like I said, it's built well. Don't get me wrong. It's built very well. But um, I just don't see, I don't see the price tag on it. And again, I was just expecting much more out of it. So, I don't know, dude. How many times have I had to break off with a vibrating jig? I can't justify the price of the jackhammer. Well, that's what the wife says. Anyway, I don't blame you, dude. I don't blame you one bit, man. Had some luck in crankbaits last week on Riverton, Illinois. Very cool. Top Raider. Let's see here. Um, bladed jig is the best on the market for me. The What's FMT? Should I know what that means? FMTC? I'm not sure what that means. Is that a brand? X and J. Appreciate it, buddy. Jack camera is too expensive for a broke high school kid like me. No kidding, dude. 20 bucks is pretty outrageous. But um, what a Jace, what? Jacob, I'm not sure what you're saying, dude. My opinion is too early a season for bladed jig bite. As soon as those bass start schooling up, it's on. Yeah, Greg, I agree, dude. I do fish muddy water. So for me, normally a chatterbait gets bit usually all year long. Um, but my, again, my intentions were just to see how the bait reacts. I was curious about the thump and all that. So like I said, I don't need to catch fish on it to see if it's any good. I know it's good. Um, there's plenty of guys out there catching fish on it. I just want to see how it handled on the water. And again, I just I just was not impressed. I, just, I mean, again, it's built well. And it works well. But it doesn't work any better than other ones that I've used for a fourth of the price. I guess that's what I'm getting at here. It's probably going to hold up much better. Again, it's, it's built really well. It's got nice components on it. Um, but again, I don't know. I just, I, I don't see it, man. I don't see it. What rod action and power would you use for deep cranking 20 plus foot? Um, to get down 20 plus foot, you're going to need a long rod. Longer the rod, longer the cast. Um, probably like a 7-Eleven, 8 foot, something in that range. And just look at the lure rating on the rod. You may have to go to a heavy power, um, medium heavy. Again, this depends on the lure weight, but uh, just make sure it has a softer tip to it. Yes, my jackhammer doesn't even have a better action than the regular ones. Jake, that's what I'm saying, dude. I don't know, man. I'm trying to figure out what the whole hype is about it. I just, I'm not saying it, man. Lunker bait, chatterbait thumps harder than most and only four bucks. There you go. Mega Strike has a nice bladed jig lure coming out soon that works really well. And the price from what I was told was was trying it out is around the same usual retail on basic chatters. Hey, yeah, Bass, now I see um, the one that I use the most is probably the, the shock blade. Not even the tungsten knocker. The shock blade, which is, I don't, you know, I don't even know what it costs anymore. Eight, nine bucks, ten bucks. Um, maybe it's eleven bucks. I really don't even know the price of it. But again, it's half the price of one of these. Uh, Details awesome on it. Nice stout hook on it. Great plastic keeper. I mean, I, I, I'm just not seeing the 20 bucks for the jackhammer. I'm just not seeing it. In my opinion, the Z-Man Custom is really good and is, isn't going to kill your wallet. I have some of the jackhammers and they work great, but they aren't cheap. The one and a quarter ounce jackhammers was very disappointing in deep water. What's going on, Random Skills? Ready late tonight. What's up, brother? What's going on, Bill? How you doing, man? I caught my PB on the Chatterbait on Monday. Awesome. How big is it, dude? Problem I have with Picasso is the paint comes off the head of the jig. Well, Sean, that's because the blade itself hits the head. So it's going to come off. Um, and like I said earlier, that's one thing that um, that Fluke Master made a video about why this Chatterbait is so great. Uh, you know, he said that the blade bangs against the head, so it's added noise. That's not what separates this Chatterbait from others. And like I said, Dang near every chatterbait these days, the blade does bang against the head. So that's nothing special for this bait. Like you said, the Picasso does it as well against added noise. So um, yeah, you're gonna the paint's gonna chip off because the blade is hitting it. But um, you know the fish don't care if paint's coming off. But again, it's supposed to just because the blade is hitting the head. Thirty-seven to the likes, eighty-seven on hit. Yeah, that's right, hit the like, man. We got ninety-one on forty-five likes. What's up, Junkie from South Florida, Hurricane Alley? Man, hope everything's all right, man. 
Hope everyone's doing well down there. I know you guys got hit pretty hard, dude. That sucks, man. Z-Man Custom and Picasso are two of my favorites. I mean, it really is hard to beat this. It's hard to beat the standard Z-Man Chatterbait for five bucks. Of course, you get better components and better paint jobs and all that with the Picassos. But I mean, if you're just looking for a budget Chatterbait, the $5 Chatterbait is, is killer. You may have to reel it a little slower to feel the thump more. Dude, I tried all different retrieves, man. And I, and I really did experiment more with the retrieve speed when I thought... Um, when I thought, uh, that maybe it was speed sensitive. So I tried reeling it slower. I tried reeling it faster and it kicked out no matter what. So again, that's kind of what I'm thinking is different about this bait, but I don't know. Uh, Michigan fishing. Uh, yeah, I'm not digging the language, dude. One more time and you're out here, buddy. Babe, if you're up there watching that, um, yeah, we don't, we don't like language like that on this channel. So there's no reason for that, dude. Colt, appreciate the buck, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. Anyone just getting on? We do have an assortment of mustad hooks. And we do have a brand new battle box that you guys are going to win. Anyone that donates is entered in that giveaway. It looks like uh, my wife already took care of your message. So, <clears throat> yeah, we don't play those games on here. There's no telling who's watching it and all that. And uh, like I said, I don't like the language. I don't use it. You guys don't need to either. Tom, okay, just got back home from fishing. Now I'm here. Appreciate it, Tom. We already did talk about the chair debate. You may have to watch the stream over for that. When will the giveaway happen? I have to go to bed soon. JSK Outdoors. As soon as the stream is over, we usually stay on here an hour and a half, two hours. As soon as it's over, it takes about 15, 20 minutes to process. Once it's processed, it goes live on the channel, and I'll leave a comment down below with the winner. And how, and you guys asked too, how do I pick the count or how do I pick the winner? If a dozen guys um, donate, there's a dozen guys entered, so it'll be listed on my analytics one through twelve. So all I do is go to a random comment generator or whatever, or a random number generator, and I put in there one through how many ever entered, and we just pick a random comment or a random number, and we count them down, and that's how we do it. So. But yeah, you just have to look back when the stream is over to see who won. Hard bottom, yeah, that's what I'd go with, dude. Yeah, soft bottom, I'd stay with. I'd stay away from dragging a jig or something like that. But the hard bottom, I, I'd definitely go with something like a wobble head, football jig, something like that, and just drag it along the bottom. Again, you can reel those wobble heads. Glad to have you back, Jake. What bait caster and pole would you recommend for? Get for what would you recommend to get for someone on a limited income? Um, I tell you what, what I would do, be honest with you. I'm not sure how fishing is right now in your area, but if you're going to wait a little bit, I'd wait for like around Christmas or even the classic sale. And Bass Pro always has the pro qualifiers on sale for like 50 bucks, it's a hundred dollar reel. In my opinion, it should be twice as much. It's a solid reel again, 50 bucks is normally what the classic sale um, has those for. You know, you can get yourself a, a Bass Pro rod. I use Bass Pro rods for years. They have their entry level rods, 50, 60 bucks, 40 bucks. The tourney specials, I mean, there's a lot of good rods while you're there. You can get a nice combo on sale for like a hundred bucks. That's what I would go with. You don't want to go too cheap because you don't want to give yourself more headaches on the water. You go too cheap with the reel, you can have nothing but headaches with the line and things like that. So I would wait for that sale, get that reel for like 50 bucks and just pick yourself out like a medium heavy fast action rod. You'll be able to do a lot of things with that setup. Uh, let's see here. What's going on small town investigations? Guys, 91 people on, 55 thumbs up. Can we bump that up please? Aaron, going to Grand Lake end of October for a tournament. Any info and from anyone would be great on a mid fall session bite. Yeah, but you know, I got no clue on that, but anyone fishing Grand Lake, let Aaron know what the deal is. Victor, what's up, dude? Thoughts on big swim baits and glide baits. I see you, I see video where they catch big fish, but can't just by price versus a lot of other baits or less that I believe have just as good of chance of catching a monster. To be honest, John, I don't really have a ton of experience fishing uh, big swim baits or glide baits. You may want to head over to Tactical Bassin for those guys. I mean, they throw like swim baits like nonstop. Again, I'm not the guy for that, man. The only ones that I really own and I haven't even fished yet, I fished them last year with Phantom for a while, 
but that is the um oh uh, what's it called river to sea s waiver and um just watching phantom fish them they work really well they caught tubs um and they're pretty reasonable in price too so you may want to check that one out but i don't really have any personal experience using them that's something i plan to use later on in fall Thank you for suggesting the low gear ratio for my deep di deep divers. I bought a 5.4, and wow, what a difference in like that Tattoo CT. Yeah, dude, Tattoo CT, man, killer reel. And like I said, deep cranking, man, let the reel do the work. If you get if you put on a 7-speed reel, you'll be doing the work, and you'll feel it by the end of the day. Low gear ratio reel is the way to go, deep cranking, man. I caught an 8.5 on a chartreuse Apollo with red, white, tail, feathered, personal best. That's awesome. 8.5 is one heck of a fish. I think the Picasso's run a bit deeper and stay down because they have holes in the blade. Agreed, yeah. The uh, I did have a problem with the jackhammer rising very fast. And to be honest, that's one of the things that turned me on to the Picasso brand was the shock blade and that particular bait. Like I said, their baits is really what turned me on to that whole brand. But um, it's because the majority of your chatter baits these days rise. And the shock blades, they do stay down in the water column. What fishing line would you suggest for a beginner on a bait caster? Definitely go with mono. I mean, it's cheap for one. So if you are having backlashes and all that, it's not going to break the bank to re-spool. But uh, i tell you what you need to do. You need to go back and watch my video on how to use a baitcaster. You'll see that i got my boys out there. I'm doing it. i got a video on Mystery Tackle Box's channel as well. You'll see me throwing out and not even putting my thumb on the spool. If you set it up how I do, you won't have any issues at all. You'll get used to it. Then you can go ahead and loosen up the tension knob. But um, I would start out with mono. And I would definitely condition your line. Well, I've got a lot of guys I think that's a big uh, hoax or whatever. I'm telling you, line conditioner makes a huge difference. Yeah, I'd start out, start out though with like probably 12 pound test mono. Best price on jackhammers at Walking Store around is Academy Sport 16.99. Yeah, Walking Store could be, um, but you're better off going to Carl's, get a membership. Or even just use the third or get on the um, free 30 day trial and you can order them on there for like it's like 12 bucks 13 bucks it was nice to see a sneak peek of what is coming in the mtb box it's the biospawn xo ribbon that's right guys xo ribbon is available now at carl's i don't believe it's on the biospawn site yet what exactly is a jack hammer it is a bladed jig that everyone's raving about Again, I'm not downing the bait. I just didn't see the difference compared to other ones that I've used. So, what's your biggest bass so far this year? Slim Shady. Um, I don't think I got a five pounder yet this year. Probably four range. I'd have to look back at pictures. I really don't remember off the top of my head, but probably four range. Sorry if I mentioned this, but what trailers were you using on the Jackhammer? I started out with the Exo Swim. Went to the Zacco, and I ended up with a plasma tail. I wanted to try a few different trailers to make sure that wasn't my problem. And like I said, I know there's zero resistance from the plasma tail. So that's why at the end, when I was having issues with it kicking out, I went to that one to make sure that it wasn't my trailer. So I'm kind of thinking it's kind of a characteristic of the bait. But um, again, I want you guys to give me some feedback on that as well. To me, like I said earlier, it, it just did not thump it hard, as hard as I was hoping that it would to justify that price tag. I must be way behind you guys talking about that comment. Yeah. What's your favorite action of rod? Um, I like a softer action rod. It really depends what I'm doing, but you guys know I'm more of a power fisherman, more reaction type bait. So I do like a softer action rod. That's one of the reasons that I went to the Akuma rods for that softer action. BT, you can get parts from Tackle Warehouse and build chatter baits to the specs you like. Very cool. TJ, do you ever bend your blades more than the way they come stock? So they don't rise so quick. Wonder if any of your listeners do or just me. I have not done that, Greg. Have not, buddy. But this bait here, like I said, is supposed to have. That's what's supposed to make this blade unique. Is the bend here? It's up a little further. It's not as steep, so you have more flat surface heat in the water, which is supposed to give you more thump. But again, like you guys heard, I just, I just didn't get it out of the bait. I got tired of them breaking, so I built my own now. That's cool. Good job on managing your channel. 
Thanks, Curtis. What's going on? Jay Mobs in the house. Junkie, okay, have you chosen the winner for the all for the all the terminal tackle you're giving away? Sean, yes. Um, my wife did it actually before I got on here. I believe it was um his name was Ranger something, but there's a comment pinned on that video. And guys, it's getting on. The giveaway tonight is an assortment of mustad hooks and a brand new battle box. So you guys donate, you're entered for that giveaway. 4 a.m., what's up? I'm going to Bass Pro. I'm going to Bass Pro, Mega Cast Rod, and Real Combo. It's okay, I'm trying to sell it because I got... Okay, no problem, Lisa. Bladed Jig, seriously overrated for me. Uh, PA Bass don't seem to crazy on it in my experience, anyhow. How do you donate? Uh, it's by the... Guys, somebody tell him how to donate. I don't remember. It's, I think it's down by the um, by the comments. There we go. He just told them. Just hit the, the dollar sign at the bottom of the chat where you typed. Does the water bowl... Does the water bowl trick really work when spooling on a spinning reel? A water bowl. Oh, putting the spool in water? Or you take, take the spool itself and put it in hot water? I've never done either. I just make sure I match the rotation of the way the bale's spinning, the way the line comes off the uh, the spool. Let's see here. Uh, braid is very easy. Very easy one. I wouldn't recommend it to start out with because it's way too easy to go with mono. Looks like somebody else uh, whoever this uh, Y-O-U-B is, my wife is deleting him, but if you can boot that fool, I'm assuming he's saying something negative. Get him out of here. Get that clown out of here, whoever he is. <clears throat> see here. Sounds like we need to try Picasso with the holes in the blade. Yeah, dude, I, I love the Picasso's, man. Yep, I figured some of you guys will be watching football. I was kind of leery about doing this, so. Kick him out, old lady. And her new name was, uh, if you guys seen that, her new name is um, Old Hook and Sinker. I thought that was pretty good. Great chiller for a channel bait is a blade middle. Yep, I use that one as well, Sean. That's a killer one, dude. Yeah, the, the jackhammer is just channel bait. Is this fool still in here? Babe, hopefully you got rid of that, dude. I love a fluke trailer on a chatterbait. Helps it hunt better than a paddle tail, curly tail bait that causes a lot of drag, causing it to track straight and not hunt. Okay, cool. Richie, what's your experience with the jackhammer, though, dude? I don't know if you were on here earlier when I was talking about it. Does it hunt on its own? And what's your experience with it hunting uh, or hunting with the vibration compared to other ones? All right, guys, I'm assuming, I know I'm always behind on comments because I try and read them all, so hopefully uh, my wife got that guy out of here. I'm not sure what he said. I didn't get to say anything, so. Let's see, what's up, TJ? Haven't been around for a while. You try out the Shimano Reels yet this year. If so, how do you like them? So far, so good. Yes, Alex, I've had out a handful of times. Really liking that one. Uh, the DC, I did make a video about it. I wasn't sure really how to tune that reel in. I got it now, so I'm liking the reel more. My only issue with the DC really is, is it's not that comfortable in hand. So it's it's great reel. It casts really well now that I got it all tuned in. Um, as far as performance goes, I love it. To me, again, it's just not that comfortable. But I, def I, I would say I definitely like the SLX probably over the DC. Nathan, I love your channel. I really have learned a lot, man. Thank you for what you do. No problem, buddy. Appreciate you tuning in, man. What's up, guys? Sorry I'm late. Been a rough, long weekend. Glad to have you, man. Glad to have you. When do you throw underspins? Normally, for me, I throw them later fall, early spring. It's just when I've done the best with them. I'm sure there's a time and place for them. That's just when I do good with them. Small Town Investigations. Appreciate the buck, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. That's right. Good job, old lady. She took care of it, I'm assuming. Rigger paddle tail upside down. On a chair debate helps keep it down. Yeah, I'll do that, or I'll go ahead and uh, just cut that boot off. But yeah, you can also rig them upside down. I do that with swim jigs, too. 
I couldn't believe a backyard. I've been back to school for two weeks. I know how it is. John, appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. And we got another buddy, somebody else getting uh, booted here too. Brad, appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. Not sure how much five Canadian is. Uh, no problem at all, man. No big deal. Anything gets you in the giveaway. That's what I'm saying, Joe. Football. What is that? You're talking about big fat fish? Yes, Greg. That sounds like a good idea. We love the wife. Old lady. That's right, man. She takes care of it. I'm watching the game and Sunday Night Live. Awesome. I do appreciate that. Guys, we got 110 people on here. Can you guys hit that thumbs up? So do you, line, so do you tie mono with braid? Riley, I do not. I don't care for the extra knot. I don't like leaders. I fish pretty muddy water, so if I want to run straight braid, I can. Or again, I'll fish mono or fluorocarbon. I'm assuming you mean treble hooks do I use? I use, majority of the ones I use are must-add triple grips on all my diving tied crankbaits. For jerk baits and top waters, I like a round bin. I'll use a must-add. I like um, some of the owner ones as well. Funny and creative new name for the wifey health. That was pretty good. Let's see here. Brad, appreciate two bucks, buddy. You rented in the giveaway. I typed five and it sent two. Here is two more. Thanks, buddy. I guess you got two entries, man. Great name, old hook and sinker. I love that. Thanks, junkie. Off to watch football. No problem, buddy. Appreciate you tuning in, man. And football started. We'll get more people in here. How good that football? Yes, you can tie mono and braid. I do it all the time. What's going on, Matt? Appreciate the buck, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. Best spinning reel at 100 bucks is the Dial Tattoo, in my opinion. The specs beat all others at that price. Ban, appreciate two bucks. Or Bass Tamer. Bass Tamer TV. Appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. How's it going, TJ? Hope your Sunday night is going good. Going great, dude. Going good. Fun chat so far. We had a few people get out of line, but the old lady booted them, so we're good. XNJ, five bucks. Appreciate it, buddy. You rented in the giveaway. I caught my PB last weekend on a black and blue chatterbait. Six and a half pounds. Awesome, dude. Let's see here. Derek Akuma is a second, close second. Are you talking about spinning reel? Yeah, the Akuma, the RTX 30, man. That's a killer reel for 100 bucks. That's why I use the 30 size. But TJ, do you ever fish dark color chatters in muddy water or always white color? Though I fish a lot of black and blue, to be honest, one of my go-tos is, um, oh, is it called Purple Passion? I'm not sure what it's called. It's a, it's a Picasso. It's from Picasso. It's a dark purple. And the June Bug Plasma Tail is a trailer. It's like my, one of my go-to setups. But um, that works really well. But yeah, I fish a lot of darker colors. Jacob Caldwell, there you are, man, Matt. j Mobs, appreciate 20 bucks, buddy. You rented in the giveaway. Really do appreciate that, buddy. You're my dude, TJ. Keep it up. Awesome, man. You guys are awesome. Anyone just tuning in? Again, we got a handful of hooks from Mustad and a brand new battle box for the winner. If you guys haven't seen that battle box video, definitely check that out. What kind of knot do you think is the best for tying braid to mono? Riley, I like a double uni, but I know the uh, the knot most people use is the FG knot. But um, as long as you're not running the knot through the guides. I think the double uni is fine. I mean, it's super strong, easy to tie, way faster than the FG. But if you're going to run it through your guide, you're going to want something thin like that FG nut. Richie, I haven't played with the jackhammer, but similar design baits, blade on jig, I let they all track straight. Okay, dude. Yeah, man, this looks like what I was saying earlier. Just, I expected this way more thump out of this bait, and um, I just I just didn't see it. You be said the very I'm not sure word for the stuff that comes out comes if the thing. What? I'll have to ask my wife, Jake. What are some of the softer, more flexible monos in your experience? I tell you what, Bass Pro Mono, to be honest, is really good. Um, Cigar Cinchy is one of my favorites. It's discontinued. But before that, and probably still to this day, one of my favorite monos is Suffolk Siege. It's pretty inexpensive. I believe you can find it at Walmart. Obviously, Tackle Warehouse Bass Pro sells, sells it as well. But um, I love how it's spooled. It's spooled um, real evenly on the spool. So you can feel for any line imperfections in the line as you're spooling. It's super smooth off the spool. Kind of like how Seaguar 
used to spool theirs. Now they don't do that anymore, but they used to spool like that as well. But um, it's really limp. I mean, it doesn't have that much memory, to, or at least in my opinion, it doesn't. But uh, that's a great model right there, Suffolk Siege. Nathan, appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. As much as I love the Steelers and how much you want to bet that they lose to the Patriots tonight. Preston, I don't really watch any football, dude, so I really don't know who is good, who's not good, and who should win. Go Steelers. Thanks, the phone does its own thing. Watching football, but paying more attention to the live stream. Doug, my dude. Matt, appreciate it, Buck Buddy. I'm assuming you wanted two entries in the giveaway. And guys, that's how I do it. Um, we just use like a random comment, or I guess it'd be a random number generator. So it, we'll just go through it, put the amount of numbers in there. It'll pick one, and that's who wins. We just go down the list. So, John, appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're in the giveaway as well. Thanks for all you both do. What size spinner and buzz baits do you throw? Three eighths really is my go to size for spinner baits, chatter baits, and buzz baits, to be honest. I really don't throw half really at all. And um, I do throw a quarter a lot if I'm in really shallow water. But majority of the time, three-eighths is what I get. Josh, appreciate the five bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. RJ, I'm late. What are you, what did you try and how did it turn out? Talking about the old jackhammer. And um, I was a little disappointed, man. You'd have to watch the stream over. I don't want to go through the whole spiel again. But uh, it's not what I expected. It's, it's definitely built well. It works well. It's just not what I expected. I expected it to hit much harder than all the other chatterbaits that I've used in the past. And I just didn't see it. Now, like I said earlier, it does seem like it hunts, which I've never had a chatterbait that does that. It could be line or it could be speed sensitive. But to me, it seemed like it was hunting. It's a bladed jigs with a split ring, some type of link between the jig and blade Picasso shock blades hunt better because a blade vibration can be in, in, interrupted and the bait kicks out and restarts. Okay. Good info there. Pretty good live stream tonight. I'd stay on, but I have a ton of things going on. Hope to see you tomorrow. No problem, bud. Okay. Thanks. I'll look at them. JP, appreciate two bucks, buddy. Here to the giveaway. Hey, TJ, hope all is well. All's good, man. I actually got home from work, showered. I got down here like 7.01. So I got it out here just in time to get on here with you guys. Whoever wins the giveaway tonight is getting an amazing deal. It's probably a battle box of about 40-something bucks. Probably, I don't know, 15 bucks worth of hooks in here. So definitely a good deal. Plus it's going to cost me 20 bucks to ship it. So. Let's see here. Shimano Nasi Benny Reel is rock solid for 100 bucks. Feels like it should be twice as much. That's cool. So are you going to try the suffix fluorocarbon? I'd be interested in your thoughts on it. I might, Matt. I did see that was coming out. I use the original Z-Man Chatterbait with a Rage boot tail. Swim bait upside down. It thumps hard. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's after trying this one out, yeah, I just don't see the craze to spend 20 bucks on the jackhammer when the original, to me, thumps just as hard. I'm not saying it's not built well. It's definitely built well. You know, got a lot of good things going on with it. Again, I just did not get the thump out of it that I expected. The Fuego LT from Daiwa is pretty solid as well. Love mine. Won't beat the Stratic CI4. Uh, i tell you what, the Fuego, I don't want to be using my Baycaster yet. It's another reel I picked up beginning of the year to review at the end. I've been using the Fuego for spinnerbaits here the last, I don't know, a few weeks or so, and it's a pretty solid reel as well. I believe it retails around 100 bucks. I'm sure you can get it on sale probably for 80 or 90 bucks if you could catch a good sale. But overall, it's uh, it's pretty good. Opinion on the trapper hooks, your favorite drop shot. Um, Jay Flares, I do appreciate two bucks you're in the giveaway. Did I say your name right? Jay Flares. Hopefully I didn't butcher that up. Um, trapper hooks, I have not used them, buddy, so I cannot tell you. I fish clear water for the most part, but I got real choppy out today, and I got out a good spinnerbait bite. I also tried the Terminator shutter, shutter blade shutter bait that has a real good hunting motion. That's cool, dude. Yeah, uh, wind man, wind with spinnerbait is a good deal. I actually got a video coming out talking about that. 
But um, I do want to try that Terminator shutter blade, shutter bait blade as well. Did I say that right? Shutter bait. Yeah, that's it. I'll tell you what, I bought the new Bass Tracker Classic boat, and it's fantastic. I've met dozens of single women since I bought it. The new tracker has been coming back for more. There you go, Brian. Keep it up, dude. Football is for the devil. Uh, so you're getting a chatterbait to hunt is speed sensitive unless you're bumping cover with it. So what you're saying is it's chatterbait to hunt. Is so then this must be speed sensitive, dude. Like I said, I'm using a 6.3 uh, Tattoo SV here, 12 pound test. It's a medium heavy mod fast rod to it. And like I said, I was just doing a steady pace. I was not going too fast like I normally do. I wasn't going too slow. And like I said, every once in a while I would just kick out. Which again, you know, it's, it had nice hunting action. So again, I was thinking either the action was built into it or it's speed sensitive. So I'm assuming that's what it is. Jonathan, what's going on, dude? Appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. RJ, appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway as well. Keep me out of the giveaway. I wouldn't use it. Dude, you wouldn't use it, man. You need to go watch my video on how I loaded that thing up, dude. I mean, I understand it's not for everybody. I'm not dogging you, dude. But yeah, you can fit a lot of tackle in there, though, if you do it how I did it. So, appreciate it, RJ. You the man, dude. And another deleted comment. You guys running your mouth tonight or what? Brandon, in my opinion, the jackhammer. Like, here's what I'm saying like this. If you're paying 20 bucks for it, I would not do it. If you're paying probably 16 bucks for it, I probably wouldn't do it. But if you can get a sale on it, whether you get it at Tackle Warehouse and get a 20% sale on it, I think it's definitely worth a shot. If you get it at Carl's, if you're a member, you get them for like 12, 13 bucks. Then I think it's worth a shot. Again, just because it's right there with the Picassos and other ones in that class. But just for me, you know, I'm not dogging it. I think it's got great thump to it, it's got great action. It's just no more than the other ones that I used. So again, I just expected more out of it. It's still built really well. No doubt it's going to catch fish. Again, I did fish it for a few days. No fish catches yet, which, which again, doesn't mean anything. I know that this bait will catch fish. Again, I just expected more out of it. So if you're spending 20 bucks for it, I personally wouldn't. I believe the $5 Z-Man um, hits just as hard. So it just really depends what you're wanting in a chatterbait. If you like that hook on there, the double keepers, I mean, nice paint job on their skirts. I mean, it, it's a quality built chatterbait. If you're looking for that, spend the money. But if you're on the fence about it, I would try out the probably the shock blades before I buy another one of those. Unless, again, you're getting on sale, something like that. Project Z Chatter Bait is a nice middle ground if you want to spend more money than you have. Yeah, I like that one too, dude. That's a good one. Christian, I don't collect any vintage Pokemon cards, but my my youngest, I mean, I tell you, there's been so many times, he'll save his money up, he'll go to Walmart and he'll buy boxes of these, of these, uh, of these Pokemon cards, and he won't get anything he likes, and then he'll cry about it. He wants us to try and return them and all that. Of course, you can't return them. And then he'll save more money up, go do the same thing, and he won't get any cards that he wants. So so it's kind of funny just because we always go through that little Pokemon uh, deal with him. TJ, if you do a rod giveaway, I'll give you a rod tube and help with the shipping costs. True story. Uh, as far as tubes go, buddy, I do appreciate it. As far as tubes go, I just go to, when I sold the rods in the past, I just go to like Lowe's or Home Depot and I get the carpet tubes. That's what I've shipped all my rods. I bet I've shipped probably 40, 50 rods in the past in those tubes. I've never had one get broken. Um, I mean, they're pretty thick, solid tubes. They're cardboard, but they're they're thick. And it would be tough to break one of those. But um, that's what I use for all the, uh, for all, you know, when I'm shipping rods. It's just a pain in the butt to get the rod to, to Mike Watts half the time. And then, like I said, pay to get them shipped. I mean, it's usually 25, 30 bucks ship a rod. But then you have that in your mind the whole time it's being shipped. Is that going to get broken? <laughs> I think Picasso shock blades are the best chatter baits on the market. I mean, that particular bait is really what turned me on to the Picasso brand. I mean, um, it's hard to beat shock blade. Again, I'm still going to throw the jackhammer. You know, no doubt it's going to catch fish. Again, I'm just disappointed in the amount of thump that it had. You know, maybe if I would have never used the shock blades, maybe I would think it would be awesome. But since the shock blades got a good amount of thump to them, to me, it doesn't have any more than those. 
So what am I paying extra for is kind of my thought process on that. Richie, I also started switching out the jig head on my Jack Bates scatter bay with a doik broke. Well, I'm not sure what that even is. Uh, with brush guard, no issue with hookups. Comes through cover on phase. Very cool. Oh, wait, Doc Rock, is that what that is? Doc Rock? Matt says the Trapper Tackle hooks are really good. I've used the wide gap and the trebles. Very happy with them. Cool. cool. Greg, I tell you what, TJ, the Terminator shutter blade thumps harder than any Z-Man. I know they can feel it in the lateral line, but there is no head knock or sound. I'll check those out because I've actually, every time I make an order of Carl's, I click on those and then I never order them. But maybe next time I make an order, I'll check those out. If you see TJ, see you next time. I got school tomorrow. Got to go to bed. All right, Daniel. Appreciate you tuning in, buddy. KA9 Fax QRP. Appreciate two bucks, buddy. You are entered in the giveaway. Anyone just tuning in? We do have an assortment of must add hooks and a brand new battle box. So, you guys will win right there. Let's see here. Also, TJ caught my PB this past Tuesday, 3.41 on the Whopper Plopper 75 Loom Color, black one, tough to beat. And then it's 265 on a Picasso Tungsten Knocker Shock Blade with a Zoom Chunk Trailer. Awesome, dude. That's another one, man. I mean, the Shock Blades hit pretty good. The Tungsten Knockers, they thump pretty damn hard. Pretty dang hard. I shouldn't be cussing either. Pretty dang hard. Sorry about that. But uh, that's awesome, dude. PB, 341. That's awesome, man. Sorry, baby, you cannot erase my comment because I'm live. Hey, I've used Trapper hooks before. You need to use slim lures to have an actual hookup. But once the fish is hooked, they don't escape. Very cool. Lisa, sorry if I need to get off here and fix supper. Keep up the great job. No problem. I do appreciate you tuning in, Lisa. Thinking of picking up an S waiver, but can't really find one that matches the hatch in my lakes. The bluegill color is right. But the profile is way off. Should I go with it anyways? You know, I've heard guys say, no matter if you have trout in your lake or not, get the trout color. And that's the color that Phantom brought over to my farm ponds or my family's farm ponds last fall. And he was catching fish after fish, five, six pounders. So, you know, I've always heard that's a good color. Again, like I said, no matter if there's trout in there or not, I really wouldn't worry too much about the profile. Um, if you have something that looks similar to what your bait fish look like, I'd go with it. Or again, I try that trout out. I think I tried the powder color because white always works well. Um, I think the other one was Terminator just because it resembles the shad really well. Uh, I may have tried the bluegill and I might have picked up the trout. I don't even remember which ones I picked up, to be honest with you. But yeah, I mean, I just try to always resemble the shad. But um, yeah, I'm not really too concerned about the profile. If you have bluegill in your lake, get the bluegill color. I believe they have two different ones as well. Yeah, I don't see spending basically 16 bucks on a chatterbait. Great job on the live stream. I would love to see more swim bait and tackle talk videos. Personal best on swim bait is 13 pounds. Dude, where are you fishing at, man? That's awesome, dude. Booyah, melee, nine bucks in hunts. Very cool. I looked at those as well. I may have to check those out. Hey, talking about swim baits, yeah, Richie right here. MO Swim 8 Slinger. That's your dude right there, man. Sloan Factor, what's up, brother? Appreciate you tuning in, man. TJ, the jackhammer works well in wood. Pretty crazy what that thing will come through. Give it a try. Dude, yeah, I've tried it for, like I said, three days out. And uh, like I said, I, I'm not saying it won't catch fish. Obviously, it's going to. It's built really well. Again, my, what I was uh, really concerned about that bait was the amount of thump it was going to have. And I thought it would have way more thump than anything else that I've used. And it's, it's, about, it's about on average. So I just, you know, if I if I would grab the shock blade, I'd throw that out, and then the five dollar Z-Man chatterbait, I probably wouldn't know which one was which. I expected the jackhammer to really thump and to know that it was the jackhammer, you know. And um, to me, I just didn't get that out of the bait. So again, yes, yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep using it. It works well. It is not what I thought it would be. Tom, I've been trying to donate but can't get it to work. I'm electronically, I'm I'm electronically challenged oh but i can fish hey dude as long as you can fish dude that's the main thing man 
So far, I have to say Z-Man and the Picasso are worth the price. Going to try the Bass Pro Shops. Weedless Chatterbait. That's cool. I haven't seen that one, Doug. Yeah, dude, I got no problem at all with Z-Man's. Lee, you guys know I love the Picassos. I don't collect Pokemon, but I have a large collection of Pogs and Slammers. That's cool. I'm not sure what that is, but that's cool. Let's see, Jay Bass, appreciate the five bucks, buddy. You're into the giveaway. I've had a lot of luck slow rowing the jackhammer. Yeah, dude, I tried all. Like I said, I didn't fish it. Um, I didn't catch any fish on it, like, like I was saying. Fished it for three days, not solid three days, but I messed around with it each day. And uh, looks like I changed out trailers and I cut the skirt different lengths and things like that. Um, no doubt that it's um, a good bait. And like I said, I did try uh, reeling slow, reeling it fast just because it was kicking out on me. And like I, Richie was saying earlier, I was trying to figure out if it does hunt or if it's speed sensitive. I, I, obviously, it's speed sensitive from what he's saying. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep throwing it. It just is not what I thought it would be. Here we go. Tony says Bass Pro has a jackhammer on sale for 13 bucks. The Nutty 101, two bucks. Appreciate the donation, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. Thanks for taking your time to entertain me. No problem, buddy. My pleasure. I do appreciate you guys tuning in. We have 108 people on here. 89 thumbs up. If you guys could smash that thumbs up, that would be awesome. Yeah, there we go. He said too. Uh, the light trout. Yep. Yeah, from what I've heard, that, that, uh, that color will catch fish pretty much anywhere, even if you don't have trout in your lake. Uh, Reese, no, I don't fish any tournaments, buddy, so I don't have any tips for you on that, man. Say hello, Parsa. He is my brother, and he is so sick, and watching you also today is his birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. Hope you feel better. So you try the Sunline Shooter. You fire. Mama varies a little stretch. Almost as floor that floats. The Jackhammer maybe. Uh, better. Or clear water bait. I know you fish. Yeah, I do. I fish, I fish straight mud. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it thumps. I mean, I don't, I don't think it, th it thumps any less than the Picasso's. I was, I was just expecting more out of it, you know. Yeah, no tournament tips here, man. Favorite jig trailer, finesse jig trailer. If I'm trying to be more finesse with it, the water's cold or something like that. Uh, probably the PTL Crawl d'Urve or just a straight chunk. If uh, bass are more active, the water is warmer, you know, um, vile crawl, rage crawl, something like that. I don't have any tournament tips, but that joker right below your comment, Phantom Fishing, he might have a few. Old hook and sinker, did you delete my comment? If so, sorry, I didn't mean to say anything bad. Jake, actually, I think she did, man. I think I remember seeing your name up there. A couple guys got out of hand earlier, so if she was on it, if she seen anything, I'm sure she booted you. It's all good, though, dude. Yeah, I just don't like any cussing on here. I try not to cuss. You never know how young somebody is reading these. So, yeah, I don't want any bad language on these chats. Uh, so here, Debo did a video on Terminator Shutter Blade, and he did pretty good with it. Okay, I'll check that out. I like old Debo. Oh, here's my wife right here. Jake reads, yes, but only to not have any more attention drawn to the removed party. Gotcha. The old hook and sinker's on top of it, man. Hank Snow in the house. What's going on, Victor? Matt Miller, appreciate the three bucks, bud. You're interested in the giveaway. Reese, no, no tournament tips, man. Go check out old Phantom Fishing. He might have a few tips for you. We got 115 people on here. 97 thumbs up. If you guys could smash the thumbs up, that'd be awesome. If you could also check out my guys at OCJ, link down in the description before you guys leave the chat tonight. That would be awesome. Game changers. Thank you. Rod Roll in the house. What's going on, dude? Tactical Bassin says the light trout color, even if there isn't a trout within a thousand miles. Yep, that's what I heard, dude. And old Phantom, you can ask him right there. I think that's the color he was using, smashing him last fall, man. And there's definitely no trout in that pond we were fishing. 
Party Crasher. That could be one of them. I think I do have that color. Party Crasher. It's my favorite color. That's whatever. But I have a lot of Shad, Thrift and Shad, and Gizzard in my area. Caught my PB. Eight pounds. Ten ounce largemouth on the Party Crasher 200. Awesome, dude. I need to get down there and fish with you one day, man. Every time I go down there, the family's got all these plans to go do this, go do that. And, and I never get to do any fishing down there, which I know I don't plan on. I, I never plan on doing any fishing while I'm down there just because I know we're doing a bunch of family things. But one of these times, i got to get down there and fish with you. What box you store spinnerbaits and buzz baits in? Well, Leo, i got a video, which I don't believe. My wife might be able to find it. Becca, if you're up there. Um, the video is, I can't believe they discontinued this box. If you can find that video, video, it's got an orange box on the, uh, thumbnail, post that here in the, uh, in the comments. The Gantrill Jr. effort, that was pretty good. At Carl's, my leg gas, a, oh, 18 to 22 inch slot. Throw 10 pounders back. Oh man. Have you tried the new XO ribbons from Biospawn yet? Yeah, my order will be here this week. I'm definitely trying one or tying one on. Uh no, I have not tried them yet. I got 17 packs on the way. As soon as I seen they were available, I made my order. So I'm gonna be doing some videos on those as soon as I get them in. And guys, I do believe they're available at Carl's. I don't believe they're available yet at Biospawn, though. Nope, no tournament tips, buddy. Sloan Factor got 27 bass last night with my son here. Uh, let's see here. And 12 over 12 over 5 pounds. Oh man. Nice rare fishing night. 893 was. Dude, that's crazy. That's awesome, dude. Definitely night to remember, man. That is awesome. Driving back. Hmm, which Picasso lures do you recommend for dirty or stained? color uh picasso lures um probably the probably the shock blades shock blades to the tungsten knocker and like so i throw them in black and blue i throw them in red crawl i throw them in i can't remember the name of the color it's, it's a per it could be purple phantom i throw that color a lot in muddy water youtube fishing vids in the house what's going on man guys check that dude out he puts out killer videos youtube fishing vids Bill Dance versus Roland Martin versus Jimmy Houston. Man, I'm going to have to go with old Roland Martin on that one. Okay, so just fixed my Revo X. The bait wouldn't close, or the bail wouldn't close. When I reeled it, reeled, I put a pin back in the hole, and it works fine. Is that wrong? So just fixed my Revo X. The bail wouldn't close. I reeled, I put a pin back in. I'm not really sure even what you're getting at, Jake. You maybe, maybe you can send me a message on Facebook and we can figure that out after the stream there. Uh, Tony, have you ever tried the Frenzy Baits Wack-A-Sack Wacky Jig? No, I have not. I've not tried that, buddy. I've never even heard of it. So, guys, we got 110 people on, 100 thumbs up, man. Let's get that, that number up there. It would be awesome. Just getting on, just wanted to say, hey, and the frequent content is appreciated. And to your fishing, uh, fishing comment, it's harder to fish more mud than here in. <laughs> we appreciate you tuning in, buddy. Yeah, Pinnell in the house. That dude's got a good channel, man. Definitely check him out. TJ, you need to try an air horn for a trailer on our lakes. I need to try an air horn. Air horn for a trailer on our lakes. An air horn? Do you fish you fish the same lakes I'm fishing? What's an air horn? Is that the name of a bait or do you mean like an air horn? Hey TJ, my PC Fun Tackle backpack came in today as well as a digital lip scale. Thank you for your videos. I'm on board with PC Fun for sure. I tell you what, Michael, for the price, man, they are really are tough to beat, dude. I'm loving the PC Fun gear. Been using the rise and reels all season, no problems at all. I'll definitely be reviewing those at the end of the season. They actually just sent me a cooler as well, which I'm going to do a little video on here soon. And uh, I just like giving you guys different price points. Majority of that stuff I use is, I'm not going to say high end, but it's, it's um, it might be out of some of your guys' budget. So no matter if it's a cooler, rod, or reel, whatever, I'm trying to use a few different brands to give you guys more price points. So again, that's what I'll be doing with the cooler they just sent me as well. But yeah, I mean, it really is hard to beat stuff for the price. 
Uh, where are you going to be on Backyard tomorrow? Are you going to be over there on his channel? Am I going to tune in over there, you mean? Uh, I'll try. Phantom, I made this comment at 8.04. So what's your point, dude? Ryan, what's going on, dude? Appreciate you checking in, man. Phantom, do you think, do you think you'll ever take me fishing again? I was going to take you, when, when did I text you? Thursday or Friday, but you were working. And dude, the those couple days, man, that lake was on pretty good, dude. We would have some fun out there. On the old spinner bait, video's coming soon. But yeah, I tried to take you. I think I'm taking my dad this Thursday, so maybe this Friday, uh, me, you can go. But the lake keeps fishing like it's, it's been fishing all last week. I'll probably go back there again, um, like I said, this Friday. Plano makes a spinnerbait buzzbait box that is awesome. It's like 3,600 or 3,500 type box. Works for, I think it's where yeah, you actually bend the, the arms down, put them in there. And they work pretty good. When the water looks like poo, throw, throw black and blue, for sure. I'll give you a challenge. If you can go to your mud hole and catch two bass on a drop shot, Five days to do so. I'll donate 25 bucks on the next live stream. It doesn't have to be a video photo will do. So I have to go to a mud hole and catch two bass. Okay, do they have to be do they have to be keepers? Five days to do it, huh? I mean, I'm sure I could figure out a couple spots that there would be a bunch of bass. I'm not sure if there'll be big bass, but I might be able to catch two jokers. Yo, TJ, what's going on, Steve? Joe, you ever thought about getting the boat wrapped? Uh, I thought about it, but I mean, I mean, I know from the videos, my boat looks like it's in excellent shape, and it really is in good shape. But if you really look at the outside, I mean, it gets pretty beat up from docks and just getting in tight with brush and things like that. I mean, if one of the lakes that I fish, uh, there's also duck hunters on that lake as well. And there's a lot of like stakes in the ground and all that. Your boat's constantly rubbing against those, and I won't have to worry about the outside of the boat too much. You know, I try and keep the inside clean just because that's where I'm actually fishing, but I just figured if I get a boat wrap, it would take no time at all for that wrap to get pretty jacked up, so most likely I'll never get a boat wrap. All right, Clearwater, he's going with Roland Martin, Muddy Water, Jimmy Houston, Private Pond, Bill Dance, yeah. Yeah, he'll Bill Dance likes to fish those ponds. Oh, there's a video right there. There's the spinnerbait box that I use. Good job, babe. I saw someone fish a wacky rig Senko drop shot style with a half ounce football jig as a weight. Called it the jig and twig. Yeah, I've heard of that before. Oh, no. Phantom's got a tournament planned for us. We, we need a tournament probably where we're both in our own boats. That way nobody's getting backboated. That might be a good idea. Or do it like uh, that ultimate. Is it ultimate match fishing? Or they, where they switch one guy's up front and the other guy's up front? That's what we need to do. When am I taking you, Jacob? Michael, hey, bud. When are you, when, what are your absolute favorite 3,600 tackle boxes and why? I need to get a couple for that PC Fun bag. Thanks, brother. i probably go with um, the... Plano 3600, the waterproof box. I like those probably the most. I don't have a lot of those just because I use the 3700 series, obviously. But um, the waterproof box, you can get it at Walmart. I believe they're fairly inexpensive at Walmart. You can get them at Tackle Warehouse, obviously. But Walmart does carry them. But they got a blue seal on them. Awesome boxes. What's going on, Owen? Let's say at least 13 inches or over. I don't know, dude. I might try it for fun. You don't have to donate nothing. I may try it for fun. I'm going to say I'll definitely fail that one. 13-inch keeper on a drop shot. I'll give it a try, dude. We'll see. I might get out tomorrow. If I do, maybe I'll just do that for a fun little video. We'll see. Uh, I never say where I fish on. Sorry, buddy. Aaron, TJ, you just need to leave your comfort zone and broaden your horizons on lakes. Uh, well, dude, if I, if I didn't work full-time... And try and do this this YouTube thing. I probably would have more time to travel, 
But um, pro- you need to get down here and probably fish my lakes. I mean, if you put it this way, you have to like a challenge. If you like a challenge, you'll love the lakes. But yeah, I do need to explore more lakes. But again, with the time that I have, I need to go somewhere where I kind of know the lake. So I have an idea where I'm going to catch some fish so I can maybe get some videos. So we'll see. I'm pretty content with where I'm fishing at the moment, though. White Castle in the house. Dude, I could totally go for some White Castles. But you know what? So just saying that, I might have to go for a White Castle run when this stream is over. <laughs> What's up, Bass? Uh, I'm not sure what that word is. I'm catching strappers on lipless cranks. That's awesome. Only your new boat. Whenever you get a new boat, you should get it wrapped. I don't know, dude. Hopefully, um, I don't know. I'm going back and forth with the tracker and the low. I'm not really sure what I'm going to go with. I mean, I love the tracker. I've been with or been using it for 10 years now. No issues at all. I think I'm just going to have to take some measurements on the new tracker to make sure that deck is actually bigger than the deck in mine. Just looking at it, it seemed like it was just smaller. All right, guys, one more time. We'll go over the little giveaway. Must add hooks. I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, about seven, seven, eight packs there. And a brand new battle box. If you donate, you're entered in that little giveaway. I do appreciate all the thumbs up too, guys. 107, that is awesome. If you have school tomorrow, it sucks. I know it wouldn't happen, but it'd be cool to see you and Phantom Fishing team up for a tournament. That would be awesome. That would be fun. Rod Royal, when a boat is in the water, most of the wrap can't be seen anyway, but more tackle instead. There you go. Buy more tackle instead. I like that idea better. Are you Mike the Cop? No, I'm not. When am I taking you fishing, Jacob? One of these days, man. You're probably trying to buy your whole family, though. You watch Mike the Cop? Yeah, I don't know who that is. See, Owen, I've learned so much from your videos. They've made me a much better fisherman. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. I do appreciate that. No, man, I'll donate. It'll be great seeing you fish a drop shot. Don't think I've seen you hold a drop shot combo ever in years. Yeah, I don't bring out the spinning combo too often, dude. And every once in a while, I'll throw a drop shot, maybe along a bridge pilot or something like that. But I don't keep it in my hand too long. That is for sure. Kevin in the house. What's going on, dude? Junkie, I just booked a fishing trip for next March down at Lake Fork. Suit, dude, that is awesome, dude. That would be one of the lakes on my list of fish. Uh, what lakes do you fish and what state are you? I'm in Illinois. I've only really fished three lakes, and I never say uh, which ones I fish. I do apologize for that. Time to go fishing. See you later, Jim. Awesome, dude. Go catch some more than fatties, man. It's more of that late night fishing, huh? Did anyone else have a really hard time figuring out frog fishing? No, I can't say that I did. Since I did, aren't you the, um, I think you're the guy that plays video games with my son. What's going on, dude? Since you, is that your name? I'm not saying that right. I have school tomorrow to you. I have school tomorrow to you and it, do you, and it would be cool for me and you to collab. You want to do a, a collaboration, huh, Jacob? Greg, TJU and the old hook and sinker have a great night. <laughs> yeah. All right, dude. We appreciate you tuning in, man. I will see you next week. Striper's bull shoals has been 25 foot too high all summer, and it's finally falling nearly one foot per day the last two weeks. Almost time to fish for them. Dude, yeah, if you guys haven't seen his Facebook page or his picture of his big old striver he caught, it's a beast, man. See here, Cho, I don't want to say your name wrong, Choco Bullock. Appreciate two bucks, buddy. You're entered in the giveaway. You, man, I'll send you a link to Mike, the cop. That's cool, dude. You sent to me on Instagram. You have a twin on YouTube then, do I? Everyone always says I look like... Um, Who's the wrestler? Triple, is it Triple H? I, and I, I get that so much. And I got another comment the other day saying that. I looked him up, and uh, I, I don't see it. You know, I mean, he's got a beard, obviously, but I don't really think we we look alike. Well, I know I, I like not far from you that I fished before. I could be your cameraman. 
I do need a cameraman, dude. It would be much easier if I had a cameraman. Ryan, Postal RC. Appreciate 10 bucks, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. Loving your videos. Keep them coming. Awesome, dude. Awesome, dude. I do appreciate the support. Hey, guys, you can just share the videos, like the videos, leave comments, man. That would be awesome. We're trying to get it 50000 for the end of the year. Uh, at the rate we're going, we should be able to make it. But, again, I need all your guys' help to do that. I really do appreciate that. Brian, thanks again, buddy. Let's see, I'm going to ditch school tomorrow and go fishing. There you go. Senshi? Oh, sensei? Oh, Sensei. Okay, I got you. Yeah, he talks about you all the time, so you guys are always playing on the on the Xbox and all that. I think he's getting a, a new controller tomorrow. He said he had to have a new controller. I think his new gaming chair comes in tomorrow, so he's all he's all jacked up about that. Raymond, appreciate you seeing buddy. Have a good night, man. I fish for the Greenville, Illinois. I think I know what lake. Okay, cool. That's cool. Maybe I'll see you out there one day. How do you figure out, how do you figure out videos? What do you mean, bud? I've learned a lot of fishing techniques from you. I've been watching you for a few years. Awesome, dude. Yeah, I think uh, my son said you got into bio spawn because of me. That's, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, Sean, if, uh, if that's where you're from, I was out that way. Um... Thursday and Friday of last week. I did pretty good out there. Triple H. That was 50 pounds. That's striper the Richie caught. 50 pounds, 4 ounces PB from the bank. 36 pounds PB from the kayak. Dozens between 5 and 20 pounds. Dude, a 36 pound striper from a kayak had to be like crazy. Have you tried the loose combo? They are the best on their price. I've tried a few different lose reels. I've I got a review on the custom, on the custom pro. Um, I have spooled up this year. BB1 Pro, loving that reel. That's an awesome reel. Um, pro TI, another killer reel there as well. Uh, since I have not tried the um, the EXO ribbon yet, it was just released last week. I made an order. They should be here this week. And I'll do some videos with them, but I've not tried them out yet. You guys can pick those up at Carl's. I don't believe they're available yet on biospawn.com yet. Jacob, how do I figure out what I'm going to make or what the video is going to be about? Um, as far as fishing video goes, it just depends how the fish are. So put it this way, a lot of times I'll, I'll plan to make a fishing video. And if the fish don't cooperate, that's when you'll get a tip video on the lake. And if I don't have time to get to the lake, I just think of what, you know, I can make here in the tackle room, whether it be, uh, you know, loading up a battle box or whatever it may be, something like that, or maybe some new tackle that I got, maybe a trip, maybe rigging something, just whatever really I have time for. That's why I'm always picking up new tackle or new gear or something like that so I can review it down the road. You know, all the new reels that I picked up this season, I'll, I'll review all those reels this winter. So that's kind of how I get myself videos. Okay, tournament should be you versus Phantom. You each only get one paddle, tail, one ribbon, tail, worm, and one lipless color of your choice, and you only get two hours. Most fish win. So we both on the same boat. Doug, hate to leave, but I have to work in the morning. Good night, y'all. All right, Doug, appreciate you tuning in, buddy. I recently bought a watch from Russia. That thing skips minutes, but good-looking watch, so that's cool. As long as it looks good, you know. Dude, I got to get up at 4 in the morning. Jacob, you better get to bed, buddy. Yeah, we have been... Yes, yeah, we have been having our qualifiers out there. If you see a red and gold champion, that's me. Okay, cool. Awesome, dude. I'll be looking for you. I'll be out there probably uh, Thursday and Friday this week as well. Fantasy Fishing. Have a good night, buddy. Man, man, I appreciate the five bucks, buddy. You're into the giveaway. This dude is the man. Let's get him 50000 It's going to be close, dude. I was really gaining subs for a while, then I slowed back down again. So, yeah, I need a little bump there in subs to hit the uh, 50000 for the end of the year. I should be able to do it. It's going to be close. Guys, if you haven't checked out Mad Matt as well, head over there. Check him out as well. Awesome channel. Hey, this is uh, Sensei's Fishing Channel. Okay, cool. Awesome. I didn't know you had two channels. 
M.H. Basson. Take your own. Oh, so, so we have to go on a lake where we each can use our own boat. Um, well, the lakes I fish, he would have to get a sticker for. Um, but there is another lake that we both fish, or actually that he took me to. Um, actually, it was it was Beaver Dam, and I don't believe you need stickers or anything for that. So maybe we could do that little challenge on on that lake. When you retire, we better get daily vids. Jake, if I can ever get this channel big enough to where it would support the family. You'll get daily vids. I'm, I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to, what's hard is I'm trying to do this and work a full-time job. And there's just not enough for me to go around to, to get it full-time yet, you know. I love the Abu Garcia reels, but the rods are terrible. Have any opinions? I um, haven't used much of the Garcia stuff. Um, what's your price range as far as what rods you're looking for? Looks like an hour and 20 minutes and we are caught up with comments. That's awesome. Yeah, I hope I get there someday, man. I'm trying three days a week or three videos a week, doing two videos and a, and a live stream. It's tough to get that out. I couldn't imagine doing four videos. I know a lot of guys do four, five, and six videos, but that's all they do. So working a full-time job and trying to get three videos out is a job. Again, four videos I'll probably never get to a week uh, working full-time. There's just no way. Go lose best for the price. Ah, uh, you got a friend at school named Luz. Or you could do a one hour, then switch positions on them. Yeah, that'd be cool too. Switch, switch, switch positions. Kind of block each other out. Yeah, I love that show. It's um, Ultimate Match Fishing. Joe Thomas hosts that show. Just picked up the SLX DC. I love the regular SLX. I like to see how the DC version feels in my hand. Like I said earlier, the um, Corrado DC does not feel that great in hand. We should meet up and fish sometime if you need a cameraman. I'm your guy. Dude, yeah, we'll just go out there and fish someday. We don't have to, you don't have to film. We'll just go out there and fish. Well, first we need to make sure we're talking about the same lake, which I'm pretty sure that we are. And uh, maybe you can hit me up on Facebook or something like that. We can talk about it and meet up out there. But the spinnerbait, man, it was doing pretty well out there on, um, that was Friday. Yeah, I do. Unfortunately, it's such a uh, confidence that, that I like lose reels too. That's cool. How oh, coincidence? I got the Garcia Silver Max Big Caster Reel with my Christmas money that I used. It like March. It reeled backwards and was really loose. Then they wouldn't let me exchange it. I guess the roller bearing went out on it. Which you can probably order that part pretty easy. Or you might, might be able to contact um, Abu and they might even just send you on the part, those are easy to put in. Other than finding a new fish in hole, any tips for fishing a heavily pressured fishery? Usually downsizing is probably the way to go, something like that. Be more finesse than the next guy. Smaller jigs, smaller Texas rigs, things like that. Hit me up if you ever in Western Pennsylvania, I have some juicy spots. Will do, buddy. If I ever go full time, I'll be hitting all you guys up because I'm going to need daily videos. And I'm going to need some good lakes to do it in. There's no way I could ever make daily videos on the few lakes that I fish. I mean, the lakes just are not that good to produce that many, you know, bites to make daily videos. There's, just, there's no way I could do it. Round and roll. I made the mistake of removing my soft plastics from bags. They dried up. Bought the best mafia money bags. Hold a lot. Store easy and indestructible. Dude, I've been storing plastics in boxes for 10, 12 years, and I can't, I've never had any dry up. Now, I always set mine. That could be something. Maybe you take them dry out of the bag and put them in there. Maybe they dry up. But, I mean, I use waterproof boxes as well. Um, I've never had any issues at all, even ones that I haven't scented. But um, typically, that's why I go to the plane of waterproof boxes because I load all the bait that I put up there in there with scent. But I've never had anything dry out on me. So you have the DC and three normal SLXs. I don't think you can beat the real for hundred bucks. See, when I had a lower budget, I purchased Abu Garcia Pro Max combo. The rod was so stiff it barely bent and it never loaded correctly. So I always backlashed. 
Now I try to keep my rod budget for hundred bucks. Hey, you can get a pretty good rod now these days for hundred bucks. I just need to start a weekly video making routine and add to my swim swim eight shorts. Dude, that would be cool. Yeah, dude. Got to get on some sort of a schedule. Three favorite tubes. My favorite tube of all time was the Yum. I think it was the LPT. They discontinued that one, but that was my favorite. Uh, I probably my the tube I use the most now would probably be um, probably the Mega Strike tube or the Chompers tube. Man, man, heck yeah! You go full time. You're coming down here for dude for sure, dude. I will be down there in a heartbeat, dude. All the big fish you're catching. I'm in Illinois. Have you fished the hair bladed jigs that you get that you got yet? And how? Oh yeah, the ones from Costco. I, I throw those, and even the um, uh, I think Z-Man has some of those as well. I think that's the brand Z-Man or Mustad could be the hair jig ones. Yeah, they work really well. I like those in colder water, so I'll be using those here again really soon in fall, early spring. I like the ones that uh, they have the hair or the feathers, I guess you would say. It's a little more natural. Yeah, really, really nice look to them in the water too, though. ED8 Outdoors. What's going on, dude? And I have the only... And I have the only way I'll start select 6.6 six medium heavy rod. Thinking about getting the SLX. Yeah, I'm liking the SLX. It went to the waterproof boxes for everything else. Well worth the money. Yep. Yeah, I love the waterproof boxes, dude. It's nice, too. You can get those at Walmart. You shout me out. I do a lot of fishing. E D O E D B E D B outdoors. There's your shout out, bud. What's the new name for the old lady? Did you pick a new name for her yet? Yeah, I, I pinned a comment for the winner. It was um, old hook and sinker. So we, we kept the old part in there. Old hook and sinker. Do I use trail hooks? Uh, I did one last time I was out on Friday because I already had that one rigged up. But typically, or usually, I do not use trailer hooks. I like to fish spinner baits and, and things like that around the brush. An extra hook usually gets you snagged up more often. So typically, like I said, usually I do not um, use a trailer hook. But, um, I mean, whoa, I've got a hook in my in myself right here. But, yeah, usually I don't. But once in a while, I will. I guess more open water, you can get away with it. Again, I'm just throwing my spinner baits and things around brush, so... I really don't like the extra hook. I mean, if they're eating a the spinnerbait, usually you don't even need that trigger hook. I mean, they're on it. So I've only used the original chatterbait so far. I'm thinking about buying a couple of shock blades. Do they really stay down like they're supposed to? Yeah, they stay down really, of all the ones that I've used, the shock blades stay down better than any of the other ones. I mean, they still, I mean, all of them are gonna rise. And obviously the line diameter you're using, uh, your rod position, how fast you're really, I mean, there's a lot of other things that come into play. But as far as all the ones that I've used, the shock blades stay down the best. Cut our worm. Yeah, I've caught quite a few on, uh, on the red bug caught our worm on that lake. That's pretty good. EDB, no problem, buddy. The old hook and sinker, yep. I love how your boy is kicking your butt in the videos with it. Dude, that mojo rig, man, just killing it, dude. <laughs> He's and they're, and they're killer. I mean, big fish, too. I mean, like I don't know if I said it last time in my stream, he won't leave from that spot either. He's fishing right underneath the cypress tree. And when that lake was down, you could see all the all the uh, the root system and all the knees. It's loaded under there. So all those bass have to be sitting right there. And as soon as he gets his rig, he runs right over to that spot and he won't leave it. So I mean he's he's definitely in a good spot. But I mean, he does he does hook him, he lands him so. Does Miss Junkie like the new nickname? Babe, if you're still on there, do you like your new name? With spinner mates, do you use plastic trailers or just a plain hook? I've also I've had mixed results with both. Typically, I do not use a trailer until I'm catching a ton of fish. So I don't want the bait to be like overwhelming, like too big to where I'm scaring fish off. But if I'm catching a lot of fish and I feel the spinnerbait bite is on, then I add the trailer to upsize my catch. But usually, I never start out with a trailer on my spinnerbait. 
But usually I use like a grub. I've even used like a ribbon tail worm, something like that before. Um, swim bait, you know, there's a variety of different ones you can use. I bait cast combo. I get them left-handed re uh, retrieve so I can hook easier. I can't use a right hand retrieve anymore. It's not. Is that weird? I actually, um, I'll, I'll probably put that part in my video on Tuesday. I talk about that. You know, and there's so many mixed opinions on that. It, to be honest, it's, it's to the point it's annoying because, okay, I'm right-handed. Okay, so I'm right-handed. I like the real right hand. But a lot of guys think if you're right-handed and you're real right, you should be casting with your left hand. Or you should be using a real um, with a left-hand retrieve. So since I'm right-handed, I should be reeling with my left. Okay, that's not comfortable at all for me. And they also say, well, if you're right-handed, that's your power arm. You should have that rod in your right hand to be real and left. Well, I wash trucks for a living. I've been doing that for like almost 30 years. I mean, my left arm is what I hold the, the pressure wand in. So my left arm is my power arm. So that's why I want the rod in my left hand. And it's more comfortable for me to reel with my right hand. Now, over my head, I can cast a great right hand. I I can do anything with my right hand. Left hand, I can put a bait anywhere I want, sidearm with my left. I can cast left just fine. And I talk about all this in this video that I'll probably, I'll probably put all that in the video on Tuesday. Again, I can put the bait wherever I want to put it, sidearm with my left. But again, I'm just more accurate overhand and even sidearm with my right. It's more comfortable for me to fish and reel right, cast right, and just switch hands. So yes, you can lose fish if you're pitching and flipping while you're switching hands. Okay, but they do have flipping switches for that. You know, if you're going to switch hands, once you release the thumb bar, the handle engages. That way, if you do get bit right away while you're switching hands, it's the handle's engaged and you can hurt set the hook. But for a cast, I mean, when I make a cast, I'm already like switching hands before the lures even hit the water. So I'm not worried about missing any fish when I'm casting. But overall, it's going to be personal preference, what's more comfortable for you. For me, I'm right-handed. I like to reel right and switch hands and leave the rod in my left hand, but do what is more comfortable for you. Yep, I still use the hog tonic. Love that stuff. Rod and roll trailer hook always on a buzz bait. Yeah, I like them on a buzz bait for sure. Top water, but on a spinner bait, not too often. And looks like uh, Mrs. Uh, or the old hook and sinker does not like her new name. <laughs> Kevin Slate, what's going on, Joker? What is your yearly budget for fishing? The tech room is packed. Uh, I don't really have a budget. I mean, what I make from the channel, I put back into the channel. So, I mean, um, like a lot of the money or the money from like my actual job does not, doesn't buy anything in this room. You know, that money is for the family bills, savings, whatever. You know, what I make from the channel is what buys this stuff in here. So again, I don't have a budget. Just what I make from the channel, I put back into the channel, so. So she doesn't like the old part. Sorry, babe. Hey, babe, uh, there is uh, some clown in here. You see him? He's right below your old part. Get that clown out of here, please. You may have already done that, but. What would be the best way to get in contact? Yeah, just Facebook or Instagram usually. Yeah, I guess she's saying she should just be the hook and sinker. It doesn't have a nice ring to it. All right, looks like she already deleted him. Thanks, babe. Favorite lipless crank? Man, I use a bunch of different ones. Probably, I really like the, the Spro Aruku Shad. Striking Red Eye Shad. I mean, I like the Mega Bass ones. I mean, I use quite a few of them. Most bang for your buck, probably... Probably the red eye shad. What knots are you using on jerk baits or pollen knot or yeah, I use Palomar for pretty much everything. Mega bass jerk baits. I'm not a huge jerk bait guy just because I fish pretty muddy water, but without a doubt, I mean the mega bass is my favorite. I mean I got a dozen of them for sure. I like those. I like the ones from Duo. Um, Strike King, Lucky Craft. I mean, I, I use a handful of them, but without a doubt, the, the, um, the uh, Mega Bass are my favorite. I just hate throwing them around rocks because, I mean, uh, I definitely don't want to break one of those off. 
If you need a video ideas, I think a technique video on how to walk a frog a spook, the best ways to jig and how to use a jerk bait effectively would be popular. Okay, that could be something I could do um, this fall. So I reel my bait casters right hand, but my spinning. Yeah, I do. The, I do the same. I, I reel spinning with the left, but again, I'm more accurate casting with my right. But since I'm with my spinning gear, it's not like I'm using like crankbaits where I need to reel a lot. I'm only just using the handle just to pick up line. I'm more working those baits with the rod. So for me, it's not awkward to, to, to reel my spinning with my left. But casting gear, I'm constantly cranking a crankbait or whatever it may be. And it's, it's just so awkward reeling left-handed, you know. Should I make a cleaning video on my reels? You can. But if you're going to do something like that, I've seen a lot of real cleaning videos and uh, some guys are not giving the correct information. The guys are probably messing their reels up. So if you're going to do something like that, make sure it's it's correct. I mean, I cleaned reels for years to make sure the way I do it worked great before I put those videos out because I'm not going to have you guys do it how I do it and then you jack your reels up. So if you're going to make a video like that, make sure what you say is is correct because a lot of guys are going to take your advice and clean the reels that way so your info needs to be right on fans of you like the editor yeah that was pretty good dude i should have picked your name as well i like that one i should be calling her honey or sweetie she's a keeper man i will say she's definitely a keeper i don't know how she's put up with me for so long which one? Is that you laughing up there? Which one would you like better for braid? Which one would you like better for braided uni or Palmer knot? For braided line, uh, Palmer. So we fishing next week. I'm off all week, 16th through the 20th. I'll be fishing next week for sure. I'll probably head out tomorrow and then maybe Thursday, Friday. I got videos, dude. I'm trying to stock them up. I think I got five videos stashed right now. I'm trying to pump them out while the fish are biting because soon enough they won't be. I'm right handed. I cast right, real right. My theory is my left hand is my reaction hand and defense hand. Ball glove goes on left. Yep. Yep. I catch a uh, ball with my left hand as well. Berkeley War Pig, Great Lipless. I'll try that one out. I'm and speaking of duo, got some of the new Alpha 72 spin baits, same great action in a trailer shad profile. Or in a taller shad profile. Should be a great bait on Table Rock this fall. Very cool. Yeah, I don't really throw any of the spin bait stuff, man. Out of my mud holes. Jake, I've already done it a million times. I know what I'm doing. I like your videos too. Well, I mean, if you know what you're doing and uh you know how to clean a reel? Go ahead and put those videos up, bud. That's all up to you, man. Can I pick you a nickname? All right, Sean. I'll check it out, dude, after the stream. Do you ever eat fish? If so, maybe do a catch and cook so we can see how you prepare. You know what? I try. Um, I don't really do a whole lot of pan fishing. I love eating crappie. And a good buddy of mine that fishes some of the lakes that I fish. Um, he goes to the Ozarks all the time and catches a ton of crappie. And he gave me like five bags, which didn't last, but a week we ate them right away. And I need to get some more from him. But I already told my wife that, that she should be doing some. Because I'll tell you what, guys, my wife is, she is an amazing cook. And she needs to do some um, cooking videos, like, you know, with fish and all that for you guys. So maybe next time I get some fish from him, I'll see if she can do a little cooking video. Going to look, appreciate the buck, buddy. You're interested in the giveaway. We're probably getting off here really soon, so we'll go over the giveaway one last time. An assortment of mustad hooks, seven, eight packs there, and a brand new battle box. So if you do donate, you're interested in that giveaway. Be sure to look back once the video is processed to see who won. So I've used the improved clinch knot for decades, and they only had one knot fail once, probably from rushing in. I'll read you out the retie. Not to be a brown noser, but I think you should call her the anchor. The wife is often the anchor in a I mean, dude. I totally agree with you, man. I totally agree with you. 
They always say, what do they say? There's always um, a good woman behind a successful man. So she is definitely that woman. She is my PB for sure. I'm sure she's up there smiling right now. Brett, I don't really have any jerkbait tips, buddy. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a huge jerkbait guy. I'll throw them a little bit in the fall, sometimes early spring, but with the muddy water, that would be the tip. Don't throw jerk baits in muddy water. There's your tip right there. I've got school tomorrow, so I've got to finish homework. Have a great week and tight lines. All right, Alan, appreciate you tuning in, buddy. Any tips to overcome nervousness to commit to fish first? B F L as a co. Want to be humble and don't want to tick people off. Just going to learn any unmentioned responsibilities I should know about. Um, I don't fish tournaments, so I wouldn't be the guy to ask. But if Phantom Fishing is still on here, he'd be a good one to ask. He's got some um, co-angler videos, I believe, on his channel. You can definitely check those out. Babe, if you can go ahead and post that Joker Phantom Fishing's channel in the comments, that would be appreciated. All right, JT, put the kids to bed, buddy. Appreciate you tuning in, man. See you next week. Do you have any extra trick shop parts laying around you want to sell? Any colors would work? Just thought I'd ask. No, nah, bud. Uh, when I sold those 13 reels, I sold those parts with them. So I don't have any uh, parts at all, man. I just dropped my phone. I cracked my screen three different ways. All Oh, no way, dude. That's awesome. That's not awesome. That's, that's terrible. Not cool, man. Hopefully it still works. No problem, Jacob. There's Phantom Fishing with his bacon. There he is. There's his channel right there. 104 people on here. If you guys have not checked out Phantom Fishing, don't bother checking him out because his channel's terrible. <laughs> I'm just joking, dude. No, check him out. A good buddy of mine, Phantom Fishing. We got plenty of videos together. I'm sure, hopefully, we got some more to come this year. But yeah, check him out, Phantom Fishing. So, and we are caught up an hour and 42 minutes in. Still got 100 people on. I figured most of you guys would be watching football. That's awesome. It still works. That's good. That's cool. As we stay on for a couple more minutes, and then we're going to get off here. So, who's fishing this week? I'll be fishing this week. Couple, hopefully, a couple days. Get some more videos for you guys. Sub, he's at 7K now. Awesome. He's editing. Cool. At least you're doing something with YouTube, man. You know? You need to get on them two, three videos a week. I don't watch any football. I'm sorry. I don't really care for sports. Yeah, I, really, I don't watch any sports either, bud. Matt, football is a big old fat fish, dude. That's what football is to us, right? Football season. Where's the Gatorade? I got about three cases right out that door. Jacob, should I make a video of fishing because I'm crossing my fingers? It's coming up weekend. My fingers is coming up weekend. I'm going. Um, make a video, dude, on whatever you want to make it on. If the fish are cooperating, make a fishing video. I'm like you, TJ. Don't watch any sports. Yeah. I got time for it, really. I, mean, I guess I'm just not really interested in it, but I just don't have time to sit down and watch a football game, you know. I'd rather sit here and talk to you guys. I'm trying to get some finicky bass. I'm trying to get some finicky bass, like they're huge ones, where I fish, but extremely pressured, especially those with buckets. What? <laughs> I'm trying to get some finicky bass, like they're huge ones, like they're huge ones, where I fish. Oh, there's huge ones where you fish. But they're it's extremely pressured. Okay. Well, man, just I don't know, dude. Maybe downsize, go finesse, something like that. A little finesse jig. Hey, do the old uh, I forgot the name of that. What's it called? The old um, mojo rig. It's definitely working for my son, you know. Fishing is a sport. Dude, I didn't even watch fishing this year. I watched a couple shows. Um, that's about it. I haven't really watched MLF at all this year. There's your tip. Let it soak. Old Phantom says, let it soak.
I'm sorry I'm under so much meds for my recent surgery. Oh, dude, it's hard to hear that, man. Hopefully you're doing okay. I have not tried the helicopter baits. That's right, Jay Miles, man. Fishing is life. I mean, once what did they say? Once you're in it, you are in it. Ain't no getting out. I mean, this it really does. It, it just consumes you. If you think about it, there's so much to it, you know. Obviously, once fishing season is underway, everyone's out fishing, right? We get out as much as possible whenever we can, after work, before work, anytime we have for fishing. As soon as the season's over, we're getting all gear ready for the following season. It's just something that you can do the entire year. It just, it just never stops, you know. I love it. Want to throw some square bills, muddy water, want to spoil up straighten. What? Want to throw some square bills, I'm assuming in muddy water, want to spoil up, oh, spool up, straight braid. Any test suggestion? So you're going to crank with braid. Um, I really, I mean, I personally wouldn't do that. Um, yeah, I think braid has a really small diameter. So depending which bait you pick. It's going to dig pretty good just because, again, the diameter is really small. Sometimes I'll go 20 pound mono just because I'm trying to keep my baits up extra shallow and I don't want them to dig that hard. So, again, if you even put on a 30 pound braid, it's like the diameter, like eight pound line. So, it's they're really going to dig. If that's what you're wanting, um, go for it. Um, I don't know. I guess it really depends if how you're looking at it. You know, if I'm going to crank with braid, which again, I, I never would, but I would probably go. I'd probably go like 50 pound just because I want the bigger diameter. So obviously you don't need 50 pound throw crankbaits. If you're gonna throw braid, make sure you have a really soft rod and I'd even keep your drag somewhat loose as well or you'll probably lose fish after fish just because braid has zero stretch. So definitely do not use a stiff rod. Again, I, I, don't, I don't recommend using braid for crankbaits, but if that's what you wanna use, yeah, I would go with a bigger diameter line just because I don't want my baits to go that deep. Or dig that hard so that's kind of my my take on it again i i personally would not crank with braid i fish very high pressure legs and i do very well with a shaky head yep little phantom said let her soak well when would when we get together you can try them with me because i haven't tried them yet but i got a bunch of them that's cool dude How about a video about boat adequate when fishing with a partner? I can do something like that, yeah. Maybe on me and Phantom could do something like that. Why did fishing better late than never, dude? We're two hours in, man. I see where Picasso's releasing a Shock Blade Pro Series. Yes, sir. I just posted that a couple days ago. I believe it's kind of like their take on the jackhammer. Which again, guys, uh, if you want to hear my thoughts on the jackhammer, watch the beginning of the stream. I kind of went over that. I think I do talk about that as well in my video that's going to be up on Tuesday. I can't really put everything that I talked about in that video or be like a half hour video, but we'll see what I, can, what I can get in there. Luke, any opinions on the new 13 fishing baits? I haven't tried them myself, but they have a few unique looking baits. You know, I kind of glanced at them, Luke. I can't say I spent a whole lot of time looking at them, so I really don't have an opinion on them yet. I'm sure eventually I'll try them, but um, you never know. Old Victor grew up watching old Bill Dance, Roland Martin, Jimmy Houston. I still watch those guys. I don't, I don't think I watch Bill Dance on YouTube, but I watch uh, Roland and Jimmy, though. Your season's full year? That's awesome. Yeah, we, we freeze here, so I guess if I want to ice fish, but um, that's not really for me. Any tips on barometric pressure? I do believe... The old hook and sinker did some videos on that. Maybe if you do, or if you can, if you're still on here, um, link those down below, please. Her stuff might be, it might be in a playlist. If not, uh, just like the single video on it. Where did you get those rod holders? I have like 40 something, so I need something to organize with the uh, winter. Um, the ones that I use are from Cast King. I ordered them from Amazon. The one that I had built, I don't believe that guy is in business anymore. I believe he, he could have got sick, to be honest. Um, but the other ones that I use 
are from Cast King. And again, I got them on Amazon. I think they're around maybe 60 bucks, 50 bucks, something like that. Man, man, I hope our winter and spring season isn't as bad next year as this year. It was rough few months all the way through, spawn, cold rain. Yeah, dude, I mean, I feel like we even missed the spawn here. It's just like it, like it never stopped raining. Like you said, then it was cold. It's like when it finally warmed up, it was summertime. <laughs> it just, I don't know. It was, But it seems like each year, though, it seems like it gets worse and worse. So hopefully next year is not you know, worse than this year, but that's kind of been the pattern each year. It just gets worse and worse. So kind of sucks, you know, what colors for soft plastics do you like to use? I live in Missouri, dark water, um, black and blue, June bug, um, red shad, Alabama craw, Bama bug. Some of my go-tos. Remember Virgil's Ward show. Virgil Ward show. Um, I can't say I do, dude. Barometric pressure. Hopefully, she puts that video in here. Or you and Jacob could do it. Y'all sir. No problem, Mike. Does wadded fishing even fish? I don't. <laughs> I don't believe so. I mean, going by wadded, going by the name, I mean, he doesn't catch many fish, you know. And there's a video right there on barometric pressure. Check that out, guys. So what does your wife do? Like, how does she know that stuff about fish? Babe, if you're up there, I'm going to let you leave that comment. How do you know all the stuff about fish? Do you use tungsten or lead weights? What brand? I haven't used lead in years. I use tungsten. Um, I use the Picasso stuff the most. It's the, um, I think the color is called gunmetal. And the color itself is within the weight, so it cannot chip off. So it's pretty cool. Bill Dance bloopers. Yeah, I watch those a lot too. I got a little bit of the spawn, but I didn't get a lot. Oh no. I lose you guys. Oh yeah. I got a little bit of the spawn, but I didn't get a lot. Very little. Yeah, I got a little here too, man. Good night. I'm watching the barometric pressure video. They're going to bed. All right, dude. Appreciate you tuning in, man. Old Hook and Singer, did you go to a college class or something? She's STEM director at a private school, studied biology. Let's see here. I saw the first couple of days and that was it. What are you talking about, Jacob? Oh, I guess you're talking about the spawn. Felipe, dude, we're like, I'm ready to like sign off here, dude. Now you get in here. You have to rewatch the, the stream, dude. It was a good one. Yeah, dude, I'm like ready to, I was ready to sign out, dude, and your comment came up. We were on here an hour and 54 minutes. So yeah, dude, I'm sorry, man. So guys, on that note, Felipe, dude, you snooze, you lose, man. I'm sorry, man. But yeah, we were signing out, guys. So what's your side hobby other than fishing? Dude, I work full-time, and I fish. I don't have time to do anything else. That's my, that is my hobby. All right, Felipe, yeah, watch it back, dude. Appreciate it, man. And guys, before you guys sign off, please check out my guys at OCJ. Link down in the description. Awesome crew over there. Definitely check them guys out. But guys, remember, if you donated, make sure you look back when the video is processed to see who the winner of the battle box is. Guys, I do appreciate you guys tuning in. It was an awesome stream. And keep a lookout. I'll have videos up this week, Tuesday and Thursday. And we will see you guys on the next one. Everyone have a good night. All right, guys. We are out. And we'll see you guys next week.